Hey guys, it's me, Julian Greystoke. I'm here today without any makeup on or anything because I was too lazy to put it on. So after this I'm gonna go fix a fence. So I felt like I didn't really need to put makeup on for that. I really wanted to film this today real quick because last night I finished a book that I have a feeling I'm gonna forget about. Like, in two minutes. I can feel it leaving my brain. It's Jane. He's the real reason we're here. The book we're going to talk about is Girl at Midnight, which is kind of an urban fantasy story about this one race of people who have feathers and are bird people, and this other race who are like dragon people who have scales. Kinshu's here as well now. I'm covered in cats. Kinshu wants to know why there's no race of people that are cats. Anyway, they all live in like this secret world alongside the human world where we silly humans just go about our business. And our lead character is a human girl who ran away from home when she was a child because apparently her mother was a drug addict and she was adopted into the culture of the bird people. I don't really know where to begin with this one so I guess I'll just start with the things that were blaringly noticeably an issue. You see, the dragon people and the bird people are at war with each other. We know this because we are told they are at war with each other, but we never, ever see this war. That drove me crazy. I was like, if you're supposed to be at war, where's the damn war? Where is it happening? Where is the war actually going on? It seemed more like they were just two cultures that didn't like each other. There was no urgency. It was just like, if they happened to meet on the street, they would probably fight. Anyway, to end this war, there is a creature called the Firebird that both sides of the war want to find. And so thus we have our quest. And yeah, the quest feels a little bit contrived when the human girl is being given the quest. And I was like, yeah, we've established that she's kind of a clever thief character, but why is she being given the quest? Like, is there no one else? except this random human girl, because obviously she's a human, so she doesn't have any of the cool capabilities or magic that the bird people and the dragon people have. And of course now the human girl is going to encounter the prince of the dragon people, and sparks will fly, of course, because he is a handsome, ageless prince guy. I will say this, that the heroine in this book has a little bit more personality than we are used to seeing from heroines in this type of story, so I really did appreciate that. At least she had something. She was not good at fighting, but she was good at running, so like legit, if she got into a pickle, she'd be like, fuckity bye, and she'd run off. The prince guy, on the other hand, is pretty bland. He's kind of your ridiculously handsome dragon prince enemy guy who of course has to come around and love the main character. The main character who has a boyfriend already, but we knew, you know the second you see this boyfriend that he is old news. I'm not spoiling anything here, if you couldn't figure that out like the minute he comes into the story. I don't know what to do with you, you've never read a book before. Now I want you to go ahead and think about the most cliched ending to do with this human girl that you can. You're probably right about what the ending of this is. I rolled my eyes because this ending, so unoriginal. I think that this whole book is kind of unoriginal as hell. It's got that whole seen it before feel, but if you're in the mood like apparently I was for something that is familiar and safe and just mindlessly entertaining, then this book might be for you. There are queer characters in it, which is good, but the bisexual character is the stereotype of he will fuck anything that moves. I'm pretty sure there is actually a line in this book that basically says that. I think she says something like, he will flirt with anything that moves. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so done with that. However, there is another gay character who has done a lot better and is actually a person first and his sexuality second for the most part, and I really liked that. Some of the characters in this book felt really superfluous, like our main character has a best friend character who is a healer, and her basic point is to be tortured, rescued, and then heal one of the bad guys to sort of bridge the gap between enemies, and that's it. Like, you could have left her character out and the book would have been fine. Another huge problem with this story is the world building, in that there is 
Zero world building. We never find out how anything works. People can just do magic, but there's there's no laws for the magic. There's no lore for the magic. There's no lore for either of these races. We, there's nothing. There's no history. There's no feel of history. It's just sort of like you're told this is the way that things are, and the world never gets built beyond that. I never had a feel for either culture. I never understood why they would be at war. So I think those are all my thoughts about Girl at Midnight. I might honestly go read the next book in the series because it was at least entertaining. It was another popcorn book. Nothing really to it, but it was buttery and salty. But ultimately this book is forgettable. In fact, I can feel it seeping out of my brain even as we speak. But how about you guys? Did you read A Girl at Midnight? Comment below and let me know. If you have, what are some books that are maybe like it, but better? I already know about Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I read the first one, it was okay. Everybody remember that we post new videos Mondays and Fridays here on this channel. All the links to our social media are in the doobly-doos. And all of these cats and I will see you again next time with whatever it is we happen to be doing next time. Bye! Goodness, why am I so covered in cats? Am I like, I'm a crazy cat lady, aren't I? This has finally happened. Finally. I was already a crazy cat lady.